When an infected person talks, coughs or sneezes, droplets carrying the virus may land in your mouth or nose and then move to your lungs. In a healthy body, a hair structure called cilia, constantly push the mucus and germs out of your airways, where you may expel them by coughing. Normally your immune cell system, attack viruses, and germs that make it passed by mucus and cilia. If your immune system is weakened like in the case of coronavirus infection, the virus can overwhelm your immune cells. Once a spike on the virus inserts into a receptor molecule on your healthy cell membranes, acts as a key in a lock. This action allows the virus to get inside your cells to the nucleus that houses all your genetic materials. A typical virus would travel inside the nucleus. But the coronavirus doesn't need to enter the nucleus of the host cell. It can directly access to parts of the host cell called ribosomes. Ribosome uses genetic information from the virus to make viral proteins such as the spikes on the virus surface. Then some structure in your cell carries these spikes in vesicles that merge with your cell's membrane, the cell's outer layer. These spikes use your cell membranes to create a new virus. Then a new virus comes out of the cell membrane. Then your bronchioles and alveoli become inflamed. This inflammation can cause your alveoli to fill with fluid and making it difficult for your body to get the oxygen it needs. It could affect one lobe of your lungs or you could have many areas of both lungs affected. It may cause chest pain, difficulty breathing, coughing, fever, and chills, confusion, headache, muscle pain, and fatigue.